Hey guys, welcome to Gardening Upbeat and I hope you are doing very well. Edenium or Desert Rose is one of the most popular summer flowering plants and in today's video, we are going to find the easiest method to grow the Edenium from cuttings. Here I am taking few small cuttings of Edenium. 5 to 6 inches long cuttings would be fine or we can also take longer cuttings like 8 to 10 inches. Next step is important. Before planting the cuttings, we need to keep the cuttings as it is for 5 to 7 days and let the edges dry out and colors. During this time, we need to keep them in indirect sunlight and please protect your cuttings from water at any cost. Here I am after 7 days and we can see that the edges are dry. Today we can plant them. Using a small pot and it's around 5 inches wider and 5 inches deeper. For potting soil mix using only cocoa peat. There is no need to add too many complex things and cocoa peat is more than enough. Instead of cocoa peat, we can also use sand. While planting the cuttings, insert around 1.5 to 2 inches inside the soil media. After that, Place the cocoa pit to support the stems. You may be also wondering about the best time to grow edenium from cuttings. Please note that spring is the best time and we can start doing from February end onwards. Watering the cuttings and next I would keep the pot only under indirect sunlight. Let's wait for the updates. Here I am after 20 days. Till today I haven't watered the cuttings. But day before yesterday it was raining and so you can see that cocoa peat is wet. This is after 25 days and today I am going to water for the first time. After 30 days and watering for the second time. Please note that watering frequency is going to depend highly on your environment. I am just showing here so that you get an idea. This is after 50 days. One stem already got damaged as we can see. Anyway, it's okay. Sometimes I get 100% success result and sometimes few cuttings fail. Let's wait for more updates. Finally, this is the result after 100 days and out of 3 only 1 remained. New leaves are looking bit yellow as it did not get any nutrients. But good thing is, I can already see the buds on this cutting. So need to transplant the cutting immediately. Let's take a look at the roots and I know that you are already waiting for it. Please note that you also don't have to wait for 100 days. Once you see that your cutting is growing well, gently try to pull it out. If it's not coming out easily means it has already produced the roots and that time you can transplant the cuttings. Alright, we can see the beautiful roots, looking quite fine. Next, I am going to transplant the cutting. Like the Edenium, Plumeria is also easy to grow from cuttings and procedure is almost similar. In case you want to see everything with updates, please do check out my next video. So that's all about how to grow edenium from cuttings and I hope you found this video useful. If you did, I would really appreciate if you give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit. Thank you so much for watching, really appreciate it, have a great time and enjoy.